It is our weekly check-in with Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward. And today, extra special because I looked at your social media and today you have proclaimed Never Give Up Day in the city of Burlington. What exactly does that mean? Really, it's to encourage people to never give up. And we have seen, especially during the pandemic, the hit that it has taken on mental health and affecting everybody really in different ways. And it's just to encourage people, don't give up, but more importantly, reach out for the supports that you need. Don't be afraid to call your doctor, to reach out for some of the mental health supports that are there. We have a whole listing on the City of Burlington website, everything from free to, uh, to paid or to OHIP paid. Uh, there's a whole range of help. You do not need to suffer alone. And, and so that's really the message is hang in there. Uh, we know times can be tough and we've been through a really tough time. Uh, it has been a tough time, and this past weekend was a very busy time for you. Uh, you were in Ottawa for the Association of Municipalities Ontario Annual Conference, plus big city mm -hmm. mayors meeting. I wanted to get your thoughts on Premier Ford saying he wants to give strong mayor powers to more Ontario mayors. We've already seen the mayor of Ottawa say, no, 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 not interested. Whereas the mayor of Toronto, John Tory, said, I'm all in for this. Where does the mayor of Burlington stand? Well, it's not something I have ever, ever asked for. Uh, I think all of us have more questions than answers at this point about how it would be implemented. So, you know, my colleagues at uh, AMO, the Ontario Big City Mayors, uh, are asking for additional consultation. Uh, but what I have asked for, and I do believe in, is more powers for cities as a whole and our councils as a whole democratically. We can get overruled on planning through the tribunal. We can get overruled on electoral reform. Uh, for example, when the government said, yeah, we're not gonna even let you discuss having ranked ballots, they can change council size. They can actually eliminate cities entirely with the stroke of a pen as we have seen. So there is no question that municipalities need a new relationship with the, Fed with the provincial governments. We need to be our own order of government and we need to be able to make those decisions and have them stick. We need to be in charge of planning. We need to be in charge of how we run our elections and, and we need to be in charge of revenue tools. And those three things have been requested by, uh, by many others. So, so let's talk about that. The, the strong mayors is a bit of a distraction. We need to talk about a new relationship for cities within the Federation. Yeah, I mean, you've expressed um, your opinion on working with the Land Tribunal many times when we've chatted. The rationale that Premier Ford was saying in regards to strong mayor is that it would speed up the housing developments and the approval process. Um, with what you just said, do you believe that is the truth? Well, this is one of those more questions than answers. So under the proposed legislation, the mayor would have the ability to hire and fire senior staff. I do not see a direct connection between being able to hire the director of forestry and how that gets one more house built, as a for example. So th there's not a clear uh, linkage there. And uh, again, the issue is that we have a tribunal that is slowing down delivery of housing. And, and uh, Burlington had the opportunity to have a delegation with Attorney General Doug Downey at AMO. Uh, residents can go on my website to see our request of him, but we said, look, uh, we need reform uh, and ultimately abolition of the tribunal. It adds years and millions of dollars to the delivery of housing supply. It works completely against your own stated goals to deliver housing, affordable housing quickly. We have an official plan that we approved as a council uh, and, and the region um, uh, signed off on it two years ago. We're still at the case management conference two years later at the tribunal that slows down our ability to deliver housing. So if you wanted to give councils uh, more authority, uh, let us just approve our plans and get on with the business of building housing. And instead we're battling it out two years later and we're not even at step one. All right, well, that's looking a little bit into the future, but I wanna look into the here and now because headlines and word on the street is saying that Marianne Mead Ward hates pickleball. What's the story here? <laughs> Uh, I, I'm intrigued by pickleball. Uh, I, I've seen it played. I've never played myself. It is a comp somebody described it to me as a combination between tennis and badminton. Uh, so, uh, so picture that. But it is it is a rapidly growing sport. Has been for a number of years and extraordinarily popular. So we have huge demands 
for pickleball in our city. We at the city have opened up for the summer free use of some courts at our Burlington Senior Center. We have additional courts that can be booked. We have uh, offered pickleball at our facilities and we know we're looking at more opportunities. So some of our, um, for example, our new Skyway Arena, which we just uh, signed off on the tender, will have room in, uh, in the facility once it's reconstructed uh, for pickleball. So we know that we have a recreational deficit across the board. We need more arenas, we need more parks, we need more community centers. We have a growing population and our recreational facilities has not kept up with the growth we've already gotten let alone what we know what is coming down the pipeline. So we, uh, we hear you, we understand. <laughs> and, um, you know, you'll, you might see me out on a court one day playing pickleball. I, I'd be happy to learn and be initiated and inducted into pickleball sport. Uh, but, but we know that there are people that want to play and, and we just have more demand than we can accommodate. And not just for that sport, we have other competing demands on our recreational facilities. So generally speaking, we need more uh, recreational facilities across the board for our residents, including that sport. Who knew there'd be so much of a demand for pickleball? Who knew 2022 would bring this about? Uh, listen, this yep. is going to be our last update for a while because you have a campaign to run headed into the fall for an election. So to be fair to all candidates, we've got to pull back on the weekly updates. If news breaks, we'll definitely be seeing you, we'll definitely be calling you. But, um, you know, just headed on into the fall, you're about to really dive into campaigning. How are you feeling mm -hmm. for the upcoming election? Well, you know, I, I never take anything for granted. I've been out at the doors since right after the provincial election. So for weeks now, uh, we have knocked on uh, over 2,500 doors already in the city and people are feeling really good about where the city is at. They, uh, they have lots of great ideas, which I've kept track of uh, and lots of follow-up that, that I do after I go to the doors. So, so people, we're in a good place at the city. We're at a very exciting time as we plan for the future of the city and accommodate more growth and deal with the growth that, that, we've, uh, that we have seen here in the city to make sure that our amenities keep up. So um, I'm, uh, I, you know, it's what I love doing is getting out literally on the street and talking face-to-face one-on-one with people. And it, it, it's always fun when somebody opens the door and I can say, hi, I'm your mayor, how are you? <laughs> I'm coming to you now to, to, to check in and see how, uh, see how you're feeling about the city. And it's been overwhelmingly positive. Well, we wish you all the best this fall. And in my time here, I want to thank you for every week taking time out. Really appreciate it. And if it all comes together, let's do it again beyond the election. Absolutely. I look forward to it. And I'll miss you over the, uh, over the next few months. So take care.